We're going to be switching up the format a little on our Super Auto Pets videos. So we're still going to have the same number of games, but it's going to be more condensed. So we're going to have a secret scrolls, if you will, of the of the weeklies. So I'm going to put out all of the combos that I worked with that I think are really good. And then we might do a second one throughout the week. That's just all of the follow up ones that other people have come up with and have suggested that we try. So we're going to have one, maybe two bigger videos for each weekly. And that'll give more time, I think, to, to experiment around, to play with some different types of games, different styles of videos, all that stuff. So it, sh it should be good. We're going to have fewer individual videos, but hoping to still keep the same quantity and quality and hopefully explore a little bit and expand the, the channel into some new territories. So I hope you enjoy. We're still getting plenty of Super Auto Pets, so don't need to worry there. But for now, let's jump right in. All right, what do we got here? Um, some opossum, mosquito, cricket, cricket maybe. We could sell the opossum for a cricket if we were so inclined. I kind of feel like we probably don't want to do that though, right? Okay, we get a draw. Not half bad. Go tennis ball, homie. Ooh, <laughs> okay. Maybe we sell a possum and we go for like a level three cricket. We do have to keep in mind though, if we go level three cricket, what is it gonna do for us? You know, that's a very important question to ask. All right. Tell you here balloon. Okay. Okay, let's see. Dolphin, we got tropical fish. What if we do this? A little bit of that. Maybe these two. Something like this. We haven't really tested too many like early game snipe setups. Maybe this will just be good. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. That's at least something. We go here. We go here. We go yak. I'd like the flamingo, but the balloon's popping. We don't want it to go onto a flamingo that we're not going to keep. So let's, let's just not do that. I like it going on the dolphin here. Ooh, we're off by one. Now isn't that just depressing? Okay, big boy dolphin. Tropical fish number two. We might just go another fig. Or cricket? Maybe we hold the cricket. You run it like this. Do this, actually. Let's try to get a really big dolphin. What if that's just, like, good, you know? Like, what if that's just good? I mean, I'm not going to pretend like figs being strong is like surprising. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and try to tell y'all that this is like a new realization. But, you know, it is fun. Squirrel turtle. Go turtle. Turtle pairs well with figs. Let's just cook it like this, I think. I think we level up the cricket next turn, likely getting rid of the ferret, in all likelihood. Baby. Dude, we're so online right now. This team is insane. Rhino Woodpecker, huh? I mean, it's probably gotta be Rhino here. 
set it up like this. Hmm, I don't think I'm liking any of these. Big maybe. Let's just, eh, let's go another turtle. Fried shrimp seems like a hard sell on tier four. I'll be honest. I'd love to have a, a, like a big Hercules beetle right now instead of that ferret, but such is life. Ooh, big snipes. Thank you, thank you. The booming portals are going insane right now. <laughs> Low key. Just keep, keep buying salads, I guess. No, in all in all real realismness, um, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it's just the snipes. That's all this is. Always has been, always will be. Just infinite snipes. That's all you have to do, really. Whenever there's fig, just give everybody fig, and you're gonna win. However, you know, I'm actually going to retract that statement just a smidge. I think when there's fig, yes, of course, it's very good. However, I mean, you know, the the scaling from the tropical fish is also very good. So I don't want to discount the tropical fish effect by suggesting that the, the only reason we're winning is the figs. Because the health is also the only reason we're not getting counter sniped insanely. But you know, there's there's something to be said there. And we're good. Go here. Now the question is, do we want a panther? Are there any held foods that are good enough to warrant a panther? Pig? <laughs> Give the panther a pig. It just turns into a dolphin at that point, doesn't it? I can't imagine that's worth it. Because then you have to you have to also get the stats up there. There's just no way, right? There's just no way. I don't think we care about either of these. Bird of Paradise, like maybe. We could swap out the tropical fish. I guess 3-3 three, three is better than 0-4, you know. Not bad. Not too shabby. Okay, as, as fantastic as the tropical fish has been for us, we are going to have to say goodbye. Maybe run sushi. I'd rather run taco, I think. Well, I'd rather run rhino. We'll do that. Bird of Paradise next turn. I wish Bird of Paradise would keep the progress between rounds. That would make it so much better. So much more satisfying to play. Yeah, I don't know if that one's gonna... I guess he does get his little fairy ball. You know, for what that's worth. Not worth a whole lot, but <laughs> for what that's worth, he does get the fairy ball. I'm gonna see if I can get the level two bird of paradise before we do this. No. Of course, he's dodging the rhino. What the heck is that all about? So this is probably just gonna be the end, I would imagine, but maybe not. He's got a big eel. Um, eh, eh, no. <laughs> we win by one health. I can't believe I haven't gotten a win with the level 3 cricket yet. And of course I get it on a team that doesn't even utilize it, right? Normally you'd put it with like a cobra or a worm or something. Or minotaur. But no, he's just chilling. Here's my fig, <laughs> my fig cricket just cooking. Love to see it. 
feel like so many times as I'm playing through the, the videos in post, I notice like random names that are either really funny or I recognize. And I just don't pay attention to names enough during the games. So I want to try to do a little, a little experiment to see how well I can remember to look at the other opponent's name. So we're going to try it out. I'm going to try to make a little... <laughs> A little something at least. A little nod recognition of what the team is. Some interesting thing about it. Gee whiz! That's a great idea. See? Something like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully we can start getting more used to looking at names. So we can appreciate the good ones. And unappreciate the bad ones. Go here. I'm gonna save the opossum. So we can get the Hercules beetle started up. We're gonna have to do an even turn level next turn. I don't like freezing too on such an early turn. Um looking great actually. Crazy ammo. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I I'm at a, I'm at a loss there. Here to the termite, throwing an osprey. Do we ever just run like an apple? Probably not. I do like fried shrimp on a base stat, homie, though. This is just really good. I don't think level 3 opossum, given how long it's taking to get level 2. I, I dedicate this to my flowers. That's my, that's my thing for this one. For this name. Okay. Level me. Go here. I guess we can do this. I don't really want it to hit the Chimera. I'd rather get Flamingo. But I guess I don't really care either way. That's good. We go here. I think we start here. But we probably run a crow. Alright, let's see. Adam92. Brother, you're not giving me a whole lot to work with here. Adam92. There's already 91 Adams? Haha. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Funny joke. Um, okay. Fried shrimp is kind of a waste at this point in time. We probably don't really care about the Hercules Beetle, to be honest. I did not just roll past the Osprey. I thought I froze him, but apparently not. I freeze you. I wanted to save it, obviously, for next turn to level. Waggy. Swaggy C, or is it Swag GYC? These are the important questions. Level me. I mean, how do you not do Vampire Bat Visitor here? Especially when you have a crow set up. It's too good. Um, I think leveling Vampire Bat is more important than leveling Visitor. I don't think we're like full sending Flamingo here, right? That'd be a little crazy. But if we can get a German Shepherd and just go like summon build with Vampire Bat Visitor, I think that would be very good. Like, I think we'd kind of be cooking. What do we got now? Hey yo, Moody, what's up? <laughs> How was that one? Great, thanks. They had the Moody mouse. I wonder if they if they pay. And they get to just like keep that name all the time, or if that was just just kind of a luck of the draw this turn. Um, I do think we put figs on you guys. I don't want to full send the dolphin. That's the hard part. I'll go a deer because there's so many other guys that we want to throw in here that aren't dolphin that I feel like including dolphin is just a waste. You know. You know what I'm saying? This is fantastic. This is not fantastic anymore. This is unfantastic. 
I thought we were gonna kill the Rhino. If we had the level 2 Vampire Bat, maybe. Bird of Paradise is huge. Uh, I think we do this. Okay. So we're gonna level next turn on the Vampire Bat. And then I think we should be good. It's tough when you get sniped, like, literally all the time. But it's kind of just how this weekly is nowadays. Um, well this is great. Can level you. That's tough. We probably do it. And then we can use chocolate on you, but I want to get the vampire bat. Would it be better just to go orca, get the vampire bat going, and ignore the bird of paradise for a turn? I think it might be. Because th these two guys are a majority of our damage. I kind of want to get them doing something, you know what I'm saying? And then the summons are just like, bonus, you know? Beautiful. It's like kind of working, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit kind of working. Um, okay. Get a level. Do we ever run fly? That's a question. Maybe. Or do we just run German Shepherd instead of Bird of Paradise? How much do you do? 25% of 10. How good is that? Two? <laughs> is that is that worth it? Or would we rather have 3-3 three, three per turn? That's kind of tough, isn't it? I think we try it. That means we can get rid of the fly. Okay, we're good. Our ordering is wrong though. We don't want Vampire Bat to get hit by the visitor. We want to set it up like this. Maybe try to get you going. A little bit. That's good. Yushi might not be bad. We do need a lot of levels though, so it's, it could be kind of a hard sell. Dude. Are they ever going to not snipe <laughs> the entire team? Oh god, and it's always a Rhino too. Every time. Fortunately we win that one. Dude, I forgot to look at the names again! <laughs> oh man. That lasted for a whole two seconds. Go here. Alright, looking at names again, let's see. Chris, Chris Archie. That's just two names. That's just two names. Okay, now we're starting to, we got seven attack on all of our summons. That's actually pretty good now. Osprey, are we looking to level another one? I don't think so. Okay, I'm glad I didn't. That's just amazing. I'm gonna go here. Okay, this team feels super good. I like this team. This is much better than our previous iteration. Ear Orn. I don't know what that means. Oh baby, we're cooking. Oh baby, we're not cooking anymore. <laughs> we're drawing. <laughs> the Ibex sauced us a little bit. But that's fine. We go... German Shepherd, Soft Ice, because that's very good for us. Taco is also very good. I'm even going to freeze another taco. That's how good I think they are. Brother. Brother's running the Cobra Deer. 
over to your combo. Oh, dude, it's over. <laughs> it's already over. <laughs> he did. He won the 50 50, so he did get to draw. Dude, as soon as I saw the, the walrus pop out of there, I knew it was over. Did we try to get the visitor? No, you only work two times per turn, so that doesn't work. Okay, so we try to get German Shepherd leveled. I mean, if we didn't have so many good attack foods, I would probably switch it. I mean, yeah, this this homie just gets to 50 just for free. 50 health. <laughs> the vampire bat's kind of good. He's like low-key pretty good, huh? Now I think we need to give the Osprey a potato. Because he's just getting absolutely, like, sauced out the wazoo. Maybe. Alright, fine, we'll do it. Like, literally just dodge the two that we care about. Sure, that's fine. The one Mr. Thanatos. I don't really get it. <laughs> I don't get the joke. Okay. We win! <laughs> Fantastic. What a weird team. What a strange team. I think if we had Potato on the, the Osprey, we would have been a lot better off. Because we didn't really get to take advantage of his other summons. Because he would just get insta-snipe. We probably could have benefited from Potato on everybody, to be honest. Because there's just so many snipes. But hey, I like that one. I think that's a good Vampire Bat Visitor build. You're not all in on the Vampire Bat Visitor. It's like a supplementary kind of build. And then you get like this little summon synergy setup going on. It just works. It's a solid team. Take notes. And maybe next time we'll do the, the name thing better. Oh, it's so hard. I have a very difficult time focusing. All right, I don't love Gecko here. We fortunately got a ferret. That, that'll help a little bit. It's just so hard because Gecko just gets murdered by tennis ball and mosquito. And there's no shortage of either of them here. Unfortunately, Dotson over here did not have any. Go here, we go here. Stack you up. I don't really care about any of these. So we're gonna be looking for what? Another ferret? We can get a balloon. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably the best turnout. We can roll into a ferret this turn. I mean, this is a, a pretty good second best. Tropical fish. Sure. We run a little bit of this. A little bit of ox flamingo action. There's our ferret. You're looking for him. Beautiful. Love to see it. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go here. I think we do take the ferret. It's a little weird because you you don't typically want to run it like that. But I think in this specific instance we're probably okay. Then care about any of these? Mingo would be the only one, and I really don't think so. Let's roll. We don't need to get too crazy here. We don't need to go insane. Let's just let's just cook. Sure. Hiking toad. Hiking toad. We get the draw. I didn't realize the fried shrimp and the tropical fish combo was not going to bode well. That's fine. Camel's huge. Maybe we ditch the gecko here. 
accepting the fact that we may have issues um, this this next turn, but we'll be better off in the long run. Is the idea in theory? What do we got? Okay, we're good. We're good. Fuzz sin, nice try. A little too much fuzz, a little less sin. Sun, sun. Not sure what that one's supposed to be. Alright, we will grab some Osprey. That just seems like a solid idea. It's kind of weird. Like, is Tropical Fish good? It feels like he should be. And he very likely might be. But, <laughs> I don't know, something about it. It doesn't feel like he's really pulling his weight. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. I think in this instance, we keep the ferret because it's giving us a little bit of something something. I don't even think we'd run snail here. I'll grab a fig. And we just keep leveling. Keep statting up, get, get higher and higher. I mean, with such a large homie, how do we lose, right? It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible to lose. Famous last words. Do it again. Are we running a fairy armadillo? Or is that like insane? If we can get a woodpecker, it seems like a good idea. Maybe we ditch Osprey and start running, running one of these. We do this because then you're more likely to trigger but then we have to run it like this so that the ox gets the melon still this is good run a camel camel seems aight now we may be a little too good <laughs> we we don't want the fairy armadillo in the back because then he's not gonna go. Oh, that's huge! We found the woodpecker. Woodpecker. We can't run Komodo with the woodpecker. That's just insanity. But I'll tell you what we can do. We can ditch the tropical fish. I think so. Let's move them back. So now we're guaranteed to hit the fairy armadillo. Octopus doesn't seem worth it to me. Chocolate is great. Woodpecker, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it has a purpose up above level one. I would say maybe not, but maybe two. <laughs> maybe it does. I'm not sure. I like this combo though. I guess it probably would, because then you just get more camel triggers. I say we try it. Give it a solid effort. Go balloon. They really trying to sell this Komodo, but that would just be ridiculous. Woodpecker could never work. Um, let's see. Goat, maybe? We could look for more homies. That, that doesn't seem like it's gonna pan out, though, right? This. I think this is fine. We just look for more woodpeckers and more fairy armadillos. I think that's gonna have to be the play. Oh, this is good, I think. We're cooking. Oh, baby, we're cooking. This is as close as we're getting to garlic, and I love it. <laughs> Alright, so I think we go woodpecker first. Thank you. Bird of Paradise is good. You can definitely run a Bird of Paradise. Oh, baby. Oh baby, we're online. 
<laughs> oh yes. Hold you. Hold the bird of paradise. Is this is this it? Is this the greatest team to ever do it? Yeah, now this guy's huge. He takes zero damage from anybody. Team's kind of cracked. They're kind of good. Uh, I think we go here. Perhaps a bit unconventional. But the reason I want to do it this way is because uh, we're going to win this round, and if we're not going to win this round, I'd rather have scaling to win next round. Oh, they got the same friggin' strategy as we do. But ours is equal. <laughs> Hugo rolls. Or is that Hugo rules? Is that how you say that? Come on. Give me a bird of paradise, please. Never lucky. I think we get here. Give him a little extra attack. Now this is more what I'm looking at. Dude, this this combo, hold on. This combo's insane. <laughs> is this the strongest combo of the week? Maybe. Feels like it. <laughs> 